in 1971, Kenya hit a GDP growth of 22.17%, the first over 10% growth for the country. In 1996, the economy performed well yet again, growing at 14.73%. It's only twice in Kenya's history that a growth of more than 10% has been recorded, with the country posting average growth of between 4 and 6%. This is what has got the private sector and the Senate worried. And the culprit can be named in 10 letters, corruption. You see MPs hanging on to the CDF. You see the MCS looking for the word... Uh, uh, county, uh, the word funds, I think this time this country makes a decision. When we have the level of competitiveness, competitiveness that is required, we should be able to allow people to be able to come into business, to transact that business, to have an environment of fair competition. Corruption is not just about government. Government is of course the biggest business entity in any country that you can deal with. But it's the private sector that deals with government regularly. And it's the private sector that pays bribes to people of influence in government and other places. The leaders have disputed the government's official talk that the economy is growing, arguing that if the foot soldiers of corruption are the ones who are prosecuted and the lords left to walk free, then there can be no satisfactory economic growth. <laughs> Tunahakikisha tumeweka sheria ambayo kwamba itahakikisha wa Kenya hawataporwa. There is also the challenge of devolution where the government seems to have been thrown in the deep end with no idea how to swim. And harmonizing taxation uh, across counties because as we take our products to market whether it's a promotion as uh, the other speakers have spoken there is always taxation, different levels of taxation and levies at every uh, crossing to another county. So that still is an issue. The senators and Kepsa were speaking at a speaker's roundtable in Mombasa. Zainab Wandati, NTV.